Girl, what are these? <laughs> Those are, oh, stop. Oh my God, I would fart in these things. You're nasty. How are you supposed to get that fine man you run around here chasing with these type of draws? I'm about to start calling you Big Draws McGraw, girl. <laughs> Whatever, ladies. Thank you very much, but I can dress myself. And I never said that he was my man. I said that we were friends. And that... Lonnie, I see that man got all up in your head. That's you up in here speaking that Manglish, girl. Manglish? Yes, man English. Do not be speaking his words, just friends. You giving up them draws, ain't you, Lonnie? Mm-hmm. Which means you like him a whole lot more than friends. For your information, Two nosy bodies. Keisha told me that she happened to see Mark at the mall at a jewelry store today. And she said that she saw him at the jewelry store buying a very expensive necklace. And we're going to dinner tonight, so. He probably getting all nervous because he knows she going out of town with us. <laughs> we gonna cut up. And men, they start getting suspicious. Anytime that girl goes somewhere without him, thinking she's getting all sexified. A necklace is fine and all, but it ain't no ring, and he ain't gonna get you no ring until you get him some competition. Competition? As in another man, which is exactly what we're gonna do this weekend. Okay, this is not a love boat cruise ship. This is an office retreat. An office retreat loaded with men, girl, <laughs> and the best kind. Oh, really? And what kind is that? <laughs> Employ. But you definitely ain't gonna get one unless you get you some freaking clothes, girl. Freaking clothes. Oh, yeah, the kind of clothes that give a man something to look at. The kind of clothes Joe behind definitely does not have. Well, thank you, ladies, for all your help. I can dress myself just fine. I can conduct my affairs, and I will be just OK. Thank you very much. Oh, can you now? Let me tell you something. I've been playing I Spy since I got here, and I have yet to spy a vibrator. Come on now, Lonnie. What kind of self-respecting woman ain't got no vibrator? Stop. And I actually do have one. I've already passed it. <laughs> what is that? Girl, Barbie couldn't even get off on that. Where'd you get that? A gumball machine? I hate you guys. <laughs> I don't need you guys to help me pack. I'm good. Thank you. I have to get ready for my date. Anyway, look, we're going to be back to get you tomorrow. Be ready. <laughs> Leave those drawers here. <laughs> you were out on a date. Um, no, I canceled it. You know, I have the retreat tomorrow, so. How did your date go? Oh, that wasn't no date. <laughs> that was an appetizer. <laughs> the main course is later tonight. I'm right. The Thank big. much better than that. Mm. 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 Lonnie, what's up, baby? 
Mark, what happened to you? I've waited all night and I've called you. You did? I didn't get the call. Did, did you leave a message? No, I didn't leave a message. But why didn't you call me in the first place? What happened? I'm sorry, man. You know, something came up. You should have left a message, though. You know I would have called you back. But I've texted you, so what about that? I know. I just noticed it. I'm sorry. That's why I'm calling, though. Look, I'm not too far down the street. I want to stop by. I miss you. Do you really now? You want to see me? Yes. I mean, I want to see you, too. You're the greatest, baby. I'll see you soon, all right? Call. Bye. Did you like it? Did I like it? Hey, baby, I loved it. You know you put it on me every time, baby. You know you the one, right? Really? Yes, baby. You know that. What's your phone? Oh. Huh? Get it. What what you doing? Get in your phone, it's on my phone. Oh, no, 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 don't even worry about it, baby. Just come back, it's just me. Well, I'm, it's ringing, I'll just get it. No, 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 don't it's worry about my phone. phone, it's nobody, it's nobody. Why are you tripping? I can just grab your phone, it's not a problem. No, 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 it's too late, man. We chilling, baby, I'm with you, you with me. We don't need no phone, we don't care about the phone, baby. Okay, All fine, this stuff. Forget that, okay? <sighs> That's ringing again. Oh, no, 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 no. What please. is the problem? Why won't you Man, let me get your phone? There's something wrong with that phone. No, there's something wrong with, with you not wanting to know who's calling you at 3 30 in the morning. It doesn't matter. That's probably No, it does matter. Yes. Your phone Don't worry. Is, keep no, this. Let me no, get the phone. No, 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 no. What is the problem? problem? Get my phone. No. I'm wow, you. really? Yes, man. You're tripping. Why why you always gotta act like that? What what's getting into you? What's getting into me? Your phone is ringing at 3 30 in the morning. You don't want to answer it. So who is she? Huh? It has to be a girl. Why? It's nobody. What are you it talking It has to about? be somebody. Somebody's trying to reach you at 3.30. Man, it doesn't matter, okay? No, it does matter. Why? Because all of a sudden, you're being shady about your phone calls at 3.30 in the morning. Keisha saw you at the jewelry store the other day Keisha. buying a necklace for somebody. that wasn't for me, so it had to be for somebody. Keisha, man, I'm so sick and tired of Keisha hating on me. She's hating on us all the time, baby. That's for my mother. I bought my mother a necklace. What are you talking about? So, Stop it. God. And all the time that I've known you, you've never mentioned your mother once, so all of a sudden she exists because you bought someone a necklace. And you know what? It's not like we go together or nothing. We, we're not together. We're not even dating. I don't even know why you tripping, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even on all that right now. You on some other stuff, okay? Wow. I'm out of here. All right? What do you have on my underwear? I mean, I do it. Oh, well, it was dark and they felt like something I'd wear. I'm sorry. You have my underwear on. You come here almost every day. You just sat here and told me that I'm the one, but you all of a what? sudden we're not dating. That is dating, Mark. Maybe not in Manglish, but in womanese, that's dating. Man, you know what? I'm out of here. I mean, I will holler at you because you was like tripping for real. I'm tripping, but you still have my underwear. Girl, weekend's about to be off the hook. Hey, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Let me get that for you. Need to be on time? Let's go. We don't want to be late. I don't want him looking at me. Hey, would you just get in the car? Will you shut up? Gosh. This retreat is going to be amazing, all right? Now, corporate is always finding ways to increase productivity. So I need you ladies on your A game when we get to Nottaway Plantation, okay? China. Dan, shut up. Can you just drive? Nobody goes to this retreat to do work. We're just trying to find some booze and chill. Booze? Yeah. Yes. What are you talking about, booze? No, we're going up there to work, okay? There's no booze going on. Now, this is a perfect opportunity to meet Mr. Bostic and spend some quality time with him. I want Mr. Bostic to see that human resources is a valuable part of this team. 
Okay, and I would appreciate if you show me a little bit of respect once we get there. <laughs> respect? Yes. Fool, I do not have to respect you. You do. No, I don't. Did you forget that you sexually harassed me in 2004? Sexually I'm harassed? Yes. I'm still blackmailing you right now, damn. Just remember that. The China, <sighs> you walked in on me while I was taking a leak. How is that sexual harassment? And how long are you going to hang this over my head, China? Huh? Look at you, causing a full scene for nothing. I was just getting ready to help you drive, too. Because you look half asleep with that lazy eye you got up there. You need to get that thing some Red Bull. Get it some wings, Dan. Get it some wings. I don't even have a lazy eye. Listen, that's not important, OK? We have a lot riding on this weekend, China, and you're not going to mess this up for me. Lonnie, could you please, please talk to her. Have her nip it in the bud. Boy, ain't nobody even worried about you. Lonnie, girl, what you up there doing? Who you texting? Talking to anyone? Yeah, no. Can I have my phone back? Ah, uh, you was texting Mark, wasn't you? Well, technically, I hadn't texted him yet because I hadn't said to him. I was just trying to get my words together. I don't really know what to say. Oh, were you going to send Mark these pictures? No. Can I have my phone back? No. Girl, how many times do I got to tell you don't nobody want to see you in no period panty and no give head scarves? You look like a grown Harriet Tubman in this photo. China. Send this to nobody. And why does your face look like this? You catch a cramp mid-picture, didn't you? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Look, at these pictures are so bad. Look, Dad, he ain't even gonna look at him, and he's a full-blown pervert. That's how terrible this mess is. I'm not a pervert, and the only thing that I'm looking at is the road ahead of me, okay? And where's that road? Because it's definitely not down Camila's shirt. You don't think I see you in the rearview mirror trying to look at her? I was doing no such thing. <laughs> It you was an armadillo in the road. No, there wasn't no armadillo. What you needed to do was pull over and get that eye of red bull like I told you before. You was probably looking at booze driving by in the other car, weren't you? I don't trust you. Put my seatbelt on, because it's clicking or ticking in these streets anyway. Let me close my shirt all the way up before you get us killed. Listen, could we please change the subject? Please, let's talk about something else. No. You know why we can't talk about anything else, Dan? Because you just almost got everybody in the car killed trying to get a sneak peek. You're a sexual harasser, Dan. You might as well admit it. Everybody else in the car already know. Come on, say it with me, Dan. I'm a sexual harasser. Matter of fact, let me wake up Camila. Camila, girl, wake up. Girl, look, I'm gonna need you to cover these girls up. Put your Mexican children and village up, because this fool is nasty. China, that is enough, OK? You're harassing me right now. That's what you're doing. Camilla, listen, everything is fine, all right? You don't have to button up your blouse, please. Your chest looks fine. I, 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 listen, Camilla, I'm sorry. It, it came oh up. Oh, my God, everybody time. stop. China, leave him alone. Let the man drive. That's why he can't drive. You're stressing him out. Thank you. Oh, is that what we're doing? Are you serious right now? You're just going to take the sexual harasser side? God. OK, so everybody in the car is just going to forget about what happened to me in 2004. Is that what we're doing? We just forget about what's going on with me? Listen. Dan is a sexual harasser. All he does at work is write people up and sexually harass people. Those two things don't even go together, Lonnie. He need to be writing himself up. China, let me tell you something. You know what? I gave you a counseling statement because you, China, did not process Darnell Fisher's check on three separate occasions. Three. I should have fired you. Why should he get paid? He wasn't doing no work no way. He worked you. Oh. Didn't nobody even ask for your input. You go back to sleep. It's your Mexican cartel looking self. You're probably smuggling drugs this weekend too, ain't you? Oh Did somebody God. check her bags? I'm sure she got two or three. Oh my God! How much longer is this ride? Oh, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say don't start with me because I know about you and Darnell Fisher, mm -hmm. and don't let me start blackmailing you. How about that? Whatever. Yeah. Damn. Pull over. I gotta pee. I can't help. All right. God. All right. Come on, Lonnie. You too, girl. Me? I don't need to go to the bathroom. Uh-uh. That's beside the point. What kind of self-respecting woman goes to the bathroom alone? You have Camila. How many people do you need? One, if I got to go number one. But I got to go number two. So I need two. Do them. Do the math. Whatever. You know what, Dan? How about you give me your credit card in case it's one of those paid toilets? Credit card? What kind of toilet is it? Fur-lined and gold-plated. <laughs> Give me the damn car before I tell everybody in the car how you jumped in the sack with me. What? Mm -hmm. When was this? At the company picnic. Oh. We were in a sack race. <laughs> you were my partner. 
Hmm. That's your story. Who do you think they're going to believe? A sexual harasser such as yourself or little old me? <laughs> Give it up, Dan. Give up that money. According to her, he already did. That money. <laughs> Hurry up. Thank you. Let's go. 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 Let's Believe this? Got Dan's credit card. We're stuck in this mini mart. Oh, but they got a TV though. You think they got the home shopping network? Nothing. Really? Hockey wise, dancing with the homies. I know you want to see some El Tundo Mundo. <laughs> Look at this mess. Oh, they made a Camila doll. <laughs> Mouth opens wide and everything. That's wrong style. Wait, wait. Let's see why it's after. Da -da -da. Wiggle your finger in front of it, and you can get a piece. Don't be mad. <laughs> wow. Don't act like that's not all you think about. That ain't all I think about. Did you bring any condoms? What? No, why would I have condoms? Me neither. We need to get some. Uh, no, we do not. Yes, we do. You can't predict what's going to happen. It's either condoms now or plan B's later. I prefer the condoms. Well, I don't plan on doing anything. What y'all have is about to get? She wants to buy condoms. Girl, you cannot get no condoms in here. I told you. Why? I'm a grown woman, and I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. I can get condoms anywhere. Well, why don't you use your grown eyes and look at the front of the store? What is he, about 16? The minute he sees us go up there and ask him for some condoms, he gonna be touching all on his little privates on his lunch break. He gonna be thinking about you while he's doing it. Oh, that's gross. He does look like a six-foot hormone. Girl, I'm not even thinking about me that way. Mm. You know, I know. I got a gang of brothers. Yeah. The minute you go up there, he gonna have you bent over that counter speaking Spanish uh, backwards in his mind. That is so uh, gross. It is. Teenage boys is creative like that when they horny. Ooh, look at him. Oh, Dan in the making. Ew, we're still not buying anything from him. No, no, this is we know no. Where are you going? He's eye raping you. Abort mission. Abort mission. Oh. Oh. That so is gross. disgusting. Oh, he is a dirty little boy. Do you see how he was that looking? That is gross. Is he still looking? Uh, yeah, he's still looking. OK, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go behind the register, buy a bunch of stuff. If he's overwhelmed with a bunch of purchases, he won't even notice. Why do we have to buy condoms anyways? Why can't we just leave? All right, what do you want to get? I guess, I mean, cough medicine? That's the only thing behind the register. <laughs> Girl, the only people buying cough medicines in a place like this is meth heads in a hurry. It's illegal to have more than 12 ounces on you at all times anyway. And the way Dan's been driving, we can get pulled over. And then we're gonna go to jail. And I won't do good in jail. They don't brush their teeth every day. You don't either. Oh my God, okay, I'll just buy it. Cause at the end of the day, he's probably gonna whack off anyway. So we That's might what well I'm talking about. Now. That's what I've been saying. Come on, let's go. Okay, Raymond, don't brush me. Hi, can we have some condoms, please? What? Uh, I didn't catch that. Boy, you know you caught that. Give it a damn condom. Anything else? Uh, I don't like that brand. Where are the big ones? The, b b the big ones? The big ones. Do not get her them big ones. You know, dang on well, men only buy those because they say big on them. <laughs> I <laughs> like them. <laughs> oh, they be looking like a jelly bean in a pillowcase. Oh, we should get the sensitive ones. I heard that those are really good. I heard those are good. For who? Them or you? Ain't you tired of making men feel all good and sleepy? <laughs> they be treating us like a corned beef sandwich and a sleeping pill, just bump, bump. <laughs> those might make it. <laughs> Ew. OK. Ew. Ew. Oh, um, we'll just take these. Thank you. Could you guys hurry? Quiet. God. Finally. Oh, finally. What took you guys so long? God. What a time schedule. I went on a time schedule. Well, I had my panties wrapped around my ankles. But when I thought about a pervert like you being outside, I couldn't go. Got I'm not a pervert. Up. What are you talking about? Yeah, you are. Look at this. Man don't even need no fingers to touch. Eyes just touching all over us back here. 
<laughs> but listen, Camille, I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to look at your breast. Okay? Yeah, he was. So what are you trying to say? Mm. You don't want to hit the pinatas? Candy comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, no. Hey, 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 listen. That's Mr. Bosick himself. You ladies need to behave yourself, all right? Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Come on in. Come on, come on. No, 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 don't, don't. Don't worry about the luggage. Yes, sir. Your itineraries will already be in your room. So come on, we're going to have some drinks and hors d'oeuvres first, all right? All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Bostic. We are very excited about being here this weekend, sir. Yes. Of course yes. you are. Ladies. How are you? Good. You're looking lovely. You? Come with me. So, did you have a good trip? Sure did. Yeah. Oh, look, you got champagne. Is it free? Yes, it's free. Stop being so simple. Oh, oh, it's so pretty here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. It's good. Lonnie. Yeah. Is this shellfish? Yeah, I think so. Why? I'm allergic. I can't. I'll break out everywhere. You can't be rude and put it back down, so just take it and smile. I yeah, just ladies, do it. Ladies, how are you? Hi, Mr. Bostick. Good, okay. enjoying the adherence. Had them special made. They are delicious. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well? Good. She's not used to putting something so small in her mouth. Oh, well, that, this weekend is all about, young lady, expanding our horizons, huh? <laughs> Go ahead. Try it. Mmm. Ah. Uh, what do you think? Fish. Fish. Mm -hmm. Really good. Good. Little bite. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I need some great ideas, okay? I brought together my brightest minds from sales, HR, and production, okay? I want to try to, one, cut cost. Two, cut cost, higher productivity. Three, cut cost without letting anybody off. I don't want the um, to go down the crap, though, huh? <laughs> right. Uh, Camila, what is going on? Enjoy. Thank you, Mr. Bostick. Uh, thank you, sir. Nice. Huh? What, are, what are you doing? It's not good. I can't move. What? What, what is going What are you doing? I got a poop. I got a poop. Girl, you look like a Mexican jumping bean. Mm -hmm. What? What are, what are you talking about? Why? I got a poop. Yeah, Camila, go I sit down. I told you I couldn't eat that thing. Sit down. Nasty. Liquid solid. Liquid. It's disgusting. It's not your fault, Lonnie. No, it's not my fault. I told you I couldn't eat that damn thing. Well, that's disgusting. Just go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Camila, no, you didn't. Just because it doesn't have no sound does not mean it doesn't stink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so gross. I can't believe you just did that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, come on, join the party. Oh. There's a party out here. Hey. hey. We're, we're just enjoying the beautiful flowers and... Is everything all right? Is everybody feeling all right? Everything ain't smelling all right. You know what? We just buried our dog five feet away, uh -uh. and this is not cool. It smells a little foul out here. Come in the party. It's much more nicer inside. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll be in, in a, just give us a minute. A few minutes? Listen, it would be rude of me to keep you guys out here. Is your friend okay? Are you sick? <laughs> Come on, stand I, up. Come in the party. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Lonnie. Come on, Something like that. You sweating? You seem yeah. cold? Take my jacket and come inside. Uh, 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 That's right. the, no, the jacket. No, no, yes, no, I the insist. jacket is a good I idea. Damn, shut up. Come on, we're waiting. Thank you. 
You better run south of the border. Oh my God. Oh, you ain't gonna make it. She <laughs> need a booty tampon. I think she just did number stain. three on herself. <gasps> stain. <laughs> Hey. She's gonna be in there for a while, but I'm sure she's very thankful. Thank you for helping my friend. Oh, no problem. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can still smell it? Just a little. Let's move. All right. <laughs> you think it smells bad now? Wait till you get your jacket back. You know what? She can keep my jacket. <laughs> I'm cool. I'll buy a new one. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get your name. Alondra Shepard. You call me Lonnie. Okay. David Bosnick. The boss's son? Yeah, that's me, the boss's son. Wow, impressive. Excuse me for a moment. Hey, all right, I'm coming right now, Pop. OK. I got to run, okay. but we are having the official meet and greet later on tonight. I would love to see you there. OK, we'll all be right? there. OK, cool. Will she be OK? I can't guarantee that, <laughs> <All right. laughs> but I'll be there. All right, cool. Okay. I'll see you later. Nice meeting you. All right, you. pleasure. Bye. All right. China, can you please go and get ready in the bathroom? It's not enough space for both of us. Mm -mm, I would, but Bubble Guts Johnson over there broke the toilet. What's <laughs> so wrong with you? Mm. <sighs> get this. What's up? Mark wants to know where I am. Uh-uh, I'm not playing with you this week, and we are sticking Good. to the plan. One, no talking about no waterhead Mark. Two, because I know you, no catching feelings, Lonnie. We're supposed to be having fun. Girl, besides, <laughs> it is 20 men out there to fold women. Odds are in our favor, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Three. <laughs> oh, hold up, though. Now that I think about it, yeah, the woman for sales, married. Girl, she on the sidelines. That means it's just me and you in the game. <laughs> Touchdown, Lonnie. I don't know, China. That isn't even me. You know that. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have a lot of work to do, and you know Dan's, you know, he's counting on us, so. I'm not worried about no Dan, girl. Mm -hmm. mm, he's just gonna be counting titties. Oh, no, he's really trying to call back right now. Look at you. I can't believe he's trying to call back right now. What? Talking about you don't know how to be no heartbreaker. <laughs> player, player. Mm. Did he say anything back yet? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait, yeah, he did. Lonnie. Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Girl, you got the soggy booty, but what are you doing? What? Uh-uh. There's Gr nothing wrong with my dress. I look good. And no, you can't wear no granny panties with no dress like this. You look fine. No, it looked like you got prison hemorrhoids, like you just did five to ten, and been sitting on the toilet seats the whole time, ass naked. Be quiet. I look fine. Listen, you cannot wear this. We need to start completely over. Time for phase one. Phase one. Phase one. We knew that you were gonna need some help, so we came prepared. Scalpel. Scalpel? Jackhammer. Pretty girl click, yeah. You would have a leaf blower. It's the pretty girl, the pretty girl, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. I'm a female heartbreaker never gives up her goodies. Men's power are in their words. Our power is in our movement, our dress. It doesn't matter what you say. It matters what you do with your body. No worries. Damn, girl. You like the Oracle or the Godfather or something, ain't you? I am weak. There is so much I want to share, but I must rest. Camila. She's gone. Oh, Lord, she's gone. That hussy ain't gone. She just sleep. Let's go before she start farting in here again. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Gosh. You don't get your reasons. Go ahead. 
So is everybody having a good time? Oh, everything is just just fine. It's yeah. just lovely. Lovely? You say lovely? Everything is fine, sir. Yes. And ladies, how about you? Yes. I'm having an amazing time. You have a really nice place here. <laughs> a girl could get used to this. Oh, look at that. Oh, how's your friend? Mm, can I be frank with you? Please, of course. She is jacked up. I mean, insides destroyed. All tore back. <laughs> you hear that? It, where, where have you been hiding, her, Dad? <laughs> well, where have you been hiding her? Who, me? Oh, Pop, uh, this is Alondra. Alondra? Yeah, she works in the Human Resources Department. Hello, Alondra. And she looks thirsty. Waiter? <clears throat> so, Alondra, have you, have you met everyone yet? Uh, no, not yet. Really? Yes, sir. Hmm. No, no, not sir. Eugene. Everybody, everybody calls me Eugene. Pops, no one calls you Eugene. Even Mom calls you Mr. Boss. Yes, Junior, they do call... Dan, don't, doesn't everybody call me Eugene? Yes, sir. See? Mr. Eugene. Thank you. Um, so, you, you must be new with the company. Um, no, actually, I just celebrated two years. Two, two years? Two years squandered in human resources. Um, <clears throat> sir, I, I wouldn't call it squandered. Well, I would. Yes, sir. You know why? Because I believe it's a whole lot more than you than meets your eye. Without outfit, there isn't much that doesn't meet the eye, sir. Junior, listen, um, I need you to go and find Miss Gearhart and have a conversation with her somewhere else, okay? Pops, there's so many guests around I need to entertain. I don't want to be rude. Yes, you don't, but you always manage to be so. Anyway. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, can't fire your kid, huh? What do you do, huh? <laughs> uh, Dan, can you do me a favor? I need you to coordinate something. Yes, sir. Somewhere else with somebody far away from you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, China, let's go. Why? I'm not trying to get with Lonnie. Shoot, I'm comfortable right here. Come on, China. Uh, Mr. Bostick said get out of here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I would like for you to take a walk with me, dear. Is that OK? Um, Certainly it is. Thank you, sir. I can take yes. Come, come. You look absolutely lovely. You know that? Yes. Thank you. Oh, this way. You know, I, I, it, it wasn't so easy. Started off with a few porta potties, got a garbage truck, and you know, never looked back. Not a bad idea. Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to get me drunk, Mr. Bastard? And what if I was? That might not be a good idea, being that I do not hinder my liquor. Oh, hell, you should have told me that. No, oh, no, no, you got the three cups of more. <laughs> so tell me something. How, how long you say you've been working for my company? I just celebrated two years. Two years? OK. But you don't even know what it is that I do for your company. I know what you can do for me right now. You can drink up. <laughs> as much as I would thoroughly enjoy a nightcap, we do have to be up early in the morning. We do. Well, the itinerary says that we do. It says that we have a fitness part of the weekend. But in order for me to be energetic, I do need to get my rest. You do. Of course. Of course you do. Well, I tell you what, I will, um, hell, I guess I mean, I'll just see you on the patio first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Cheers. Good night, Mr. Boston. Good night. Chester, Chester, staff molester. Do you ever stop? <laughs> no. Gosh. Whatever. Where did Lonnie go? I don't know. I don't care. Do you notice there's like four women here? 
Yes. And 20 men. <laughs> look at how they all looking at me. Somebody's gonna occupy China tonight. <laughs> Watch this then. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. You're making yourself look foolish. Whatever, boy. I don't look foolish. I look good. <laughs> they cannot keep their eyes off me. You don't see anyone. Stop hating, Dan. There's no hatred. I'm just expressing my own opinion. You jealous, Dan? No. I mean, come on, you're my, my co-worker for Pete's sake. You just don't want all that gossip going around the office, you know? Dan, did you just say the office? Yeah. Look around. We are the office. Are you telling? Because I'm not going to tell on myself. No. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Who's that guy? Mm, my occupier. <laughs> Bye, Dan. Mm. Where are you going? Shoot, my key. <sighs> uh uh, y'all know who you messing with, baby Kyle. <laughs> Excuse me, like, excuse me, um, can I talk to you for a second, China, please, if, if you don't mind? I'm busy right now, Dan. Can you come back? It's kind of private. Please, if you don't mind. The lady busy, man. Come back later. <laughs> Look like these fools about to fight over me. That's, that's not necessary, OK? Come back later. Hey, listen, buddy, you don't know who you're messing with, OK, buddy? I am in charge of all of human resources. And what? What? I'll tell you what. If you want to see your check arrive to you in a timely manner, or if you don't want to accidentally see your hours, sick time, vacation time, compensation package screwed up, you will step off right now, buddy. Now! All right, y'all. It just got real. You know what? He's serious right now. I seen him write somebody up for messing with somebody's check once. That's right. Y'all minds will just go. And if that's not enough game. for you, I'll definitely implement right. drug testing. I'll implement a whole bunch of things. Yeah, that's right. You get out of here. You too, shorty. What has gotten into you? No, what's gotten into you? No, you've hmm? been acting a fool this whole weekend. What's going on? I'm not the one that's been acting up, OK? I don't like the way you've been carrying yourself. Me? Yes, you. Boy, this was a nothing. You should have seen me down in Atlanta, freak Nick. I was pop locking. Hey, I was on a hand. Serious. I was. I'm not joking right now. <sighs> then what is it, Dan? Huh? Dan, you caught me. I got you what? Nothing. <laughs> no. Whatever. What did you realize, Dan? Well, I realized back in, back in 2004 mm -hmm. that I, I should have sexually harassed you. You can sexually harass me now, Dan. Really? David? Hey. hey, everything okay? Yeah, no, everything's fine. Okay. How about you? Things are good. I'm having a great time. Wow, you look, wow, you look great. Thank you. Stunning. You look great. Thank you. How's your friends? Um, looking for one, can't find her, and the other one is resting. She's feeling a lot better. Oh, okay, well, send her my love. Hopefully she feels better. Yeah, she says she's going to join us tomorrow for the workout. So. Yeah, that's cool. Have you, um, seen the place? Um... I saw the gardens, and that's about it. But I did not get an official tour yet. Oh, you gotta let me show you around. Mm. Okay, I would love that. I like that. Okay, cool. Um, but maybe later. Definitely later. Okay, definitely. Definitely later it is then. Okay. All right? Sounds good, yeah. You know what? So, are you ready to tuck me in? Definitely later. Yeah. 
Definitely later. Okay, you too. Definitely. Alondro Shepard. She's a plain Jane. Is that a picture of her mother and her in Sears? If you're going to find love, love will find you. Oh my God, an amateur. <laughs> this is going to be so easy. Mark Phillips. Ooh, he's cute. I wonder if her man knows what she's doing. Oh, oh my God, David, you scared me. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> well, um, you cool? I must look crazy. I'm sorry. Nah, you look good. You sure? Yeah. You I didn't know I was going to run into anybody. Look, you look cool. But you know, I'm a, I'm a keep it real. I'm a little disappointed in you. Why? What did I do? Well, I was about to eat that last piece of cheesecake and you beat me to the punch. So I'm a little hot about that. Now you owe me one, all right? Go ahead. No, we can share it. Oh, we can? Yeah, we can share it. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm cool with that. I'm sorry again, I know that. I'm sorry I look Super insane right now. Look, you I didn't look, know I was gonna run into anybody. Stop it! You look fine. It's four in the morning. Um, yeah, it's four in the morning, and you look like somebody made you. Somebody made me. Yes. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> like Weird Science Part Two or something. Oh, okay. So, what? I'm Kelly LeBron. Wait a minute. You know about the movie? Do I know the movie? What are you talking about? It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, right. Come on, yeah, right. Weird Science is your favorite movie. That's okay, who's your favorite movie then? Who's your favorite character? I mean, that's a stupid question. That's not a stupid question. Actually, my favorite character is Chet, believe it or not. Chet, the brother from hell? Yeah, because he made me feel like I was good. I was good to be the only child. You know what I mean? Wow. Oh. I was confident. Well. Real talk. Chet had to be like the worst brother ever in the world. <laughs> he was cool. And that's who you choose. Nah, he was cool. <laughs> he was cool. Well, you do know that black people aren't even supposed to know about that movie. Why you say that? Yo, everybody I know black loves that movie. You crazy. Clearly, we run in two different circles, because if my friends even heard us having this conversation, I would never hear the end of it. Like, when I go to the movies, I have to sit in the back, like, in the shadow so nobody sees me. Listen, it's the 21st century. You can love who you love and like what you like. <laughs> All right? It's okay. You ain't got to be ashamed. Okay. All right? I'm just... So what about Pretty in Pink? Okay, you lost me. <laughs> All right? What? What about Pretty in Pink? Clueless. Mm -mm. Ten things I hate about you. <laughs> go back to the shadows, girl. Okay? Go back and stay in the back. No, those <laughs> movies are good movies. Now, I got to admit, though, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I met you. You cool. Don't say that. Why not? Because until today, you didn't even know I existed. What are you talking about? That's not true. Yes, it is. Okay, who do you think read all of those performance reports you wrote, huh? Me. You. Okay, now you're surprised. Me. I did that. Okay? I'm focused. Okay, so all of a sudden, I'm supposed to believe that you wanted to meet me because I just wrote great reports, and secretly, you yearn to be a school teacher. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that, but yes. Actually, yes. And I know you might not believe me, mm -hmm. but I do have my teaching credentials. And I know it's probably not realistic in my life. Well, I know it's not, but it's still my dream. It doesn't have to be a dream. You could do that. It doesn't sound crazy. You know, you don't have to work for your dad. Us. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about it. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, what about you? What do you want to be when you grow up? What I want to be when I grow up? I want to be a flower shop owner. Oh, why don't you? You're all right. I live with my mother. Like, paying rent on my own is kind of hard right now, so... Not realistically a dream. And you ate all the cheesecake. I am so 
You owe me Sorry. another slice of cheesecake. I promise, I got you. You owe me a whole... I'm gonna go get one from Cheesecake Factory for you. Okay. All right? She ever gets delivered to her door are restraining orders. So either for you or most likely for me. Okay, well what does the card say? It says definitely later. That's what it says? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's for me. Somebody's been working some magic. Yes. Something just bit me. Oh my god, something just bit me. Okay, maybe it was a beat. Maybe it can't. How you get stung by a bee in your neck in in your own room? <laughs> in the flowers. Uh uh. Who sent your stank behind some flowers? Lonnie. You sent this after some flowers? Yeah, no. Nice. Somebody sent me flowers. Girl. Oh, I told you it was gonna work, didn't I? We got all the boys wanting our milkshakes. <laughs> Mom, what was like? I guess that's what you were doing. Now. It's not right, China. No, no, babe. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm okay, wait a minute. Hold it. You're in the what? Girl, listen. Everything I said was true. Yeah. It works. <laughs> I got my man. That's right. I heard this half over here hooping and hollering, but so was I. Uh... Oh, my God, I can't. <laughs> and Mila, I love you, girl. If I knew it was attacking the killer bees, I would have been over here with raid, fly swatters, border patrol, everything for you. I love you. You know I love you. Okay, it's... It's time to go work out. Mm. Uh, I'm not going. Mm. You Why? can't go dress like that. Why? I'm ready. I look cute. No. Mm -mm. You look like a Care Bears nephew. Hey, Jumping Jacks, come on. 98. 99. 100. Yeah. Now let's, hey, let's get your feet moving. Get your feet moving. You want to get the burn. 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 Come on. Burn. Come on. Burn. Burn. Come on. Burn. 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 You got to go around in circles. Get low. Yeah. Get low. Get low. You get low, get down there. Sir. Good. Now wave your body with it. Wave your body. Wave your body with it. That's wave how we do body. it. That's how we do it. Ooh. You feel it all, all up in here. Yeah. All up in here. Oh, you're looking tired. Pump it up. Pump it up. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Y'all gotta get fired up. Y'all gotta get fired up. Okay. All right, here we go. Knees up. Knees up. 
these are, these are, ooh, these are, these are lucky dancing. These are, these are, ooh, 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 ooh. We're getting tired. This is a good workout, huh? You hear? Your cardio get ready. Your cardio get ready. Get the knees up. Woo. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Back to jump jack. One, two, three, four. What's wrong with you over there? Come on, boy. Keep it going. You're doing the backwards. You're doing the backwards. Keep it going. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Hey. Why is everybody stopping? Don't stop. Push it. Push it. Yeah, come on. Sorry, Emily. You guys don't have to stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, go. Everyone take five. Hell. No, you guys don't have to stop. No, no. Take ten. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I could just jump in line and just start working out with them. Uh, they, they, they are maggots. They maggots. I'm 68 years old, and they can't keep up with me. Oh, you're 68? 68. Yeah, I would have never guessed mm -hmm. that. What is your secret? See, the secret is water, mm -hmm. women, it's 69.99. 69.99. That's my workout DVD. It's cheap and it's reasonable. Well, okay. well, I am a woman and mm -hmm. I did just have some water. Mm -hmm. but I don't have 69.99. Yes, for you it is free. Thank you. You're so yeah, sweet. Thank free. you. That's so sweet of you. Oh Lord. Mr. Banks. Yes. Great workout. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's over so soon. It, it ain't over. What? Line up! Five mile run in two minutes! Yo! Go! Go! Um, line up! A little go. Well, you don't mind if I start stretching? Oh, do I mind? Everyone must need a good stretch before they start running. Go on here, stretch. Go ahead. You just gotta stretch, stretch. Stretch, 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 stuff. <laughs> yeah, like that, like that. That's, yeah. I was thinking mm -hmm. that, um, you know, I get, I get a little nervous, you, you know, working out in front of people. So maybe, like, later on, I can just get a private session. Well, hell, we can do it right now. Workout is over. Everyone, get out. No, no, we can do it another time. We don't have to do it right now. No, 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 that's fine. What we do is we'll start off with a little run and, and, and even a quicker workout. It will only be about four hours, I promise. Four hours, four hours is nothing. Oh. oh, here you go again. Oh, I hate to miss that. But you miss it. I have a workshop to go to. Well, go on. You already. I saw you. Hey, young man. All right. Yeah. Great work out, Mr. Boston. Yeah, Bryce. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, all right. Well, it's about to get better for me. <laughs> Mr. Boston. Yes, do, sir. Do, do you mind if I take baby girl here on a brisk run this morning? Uh, I'm sure she won't be missed. Oh, she will definitely be missed. Hmm? Huh? Actually, um, you know, I, I don't mind under one condition. What's that? I, I tag along. Ooh. You know, Pops, you know you got a lot on your schedule today. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you really can't do this. No, son, I will, and I can. Mm -hmm. David, handle it. Be right back. There you go again, is it? Mind if I tag along? Yes, I do. Shall we? Actually, she should come along. Actually, I think she's just fine. Come, she she come, come along. Come on, come on lady, no. with me. No, wait, no, wait, wait. I've been dealing with you for 30 years. Yeah. Come mess with 30 me. 30 years too long now. It's been another 30 years to go. I'm thinking of cock. The hell? Here we go. You're doing good. You're doing great, you doing great sweetheart. You're doing great. Huh? Woman. Woman down. Huh? Hey, you okay? Hey, right, anything I can do to help? No, no, no. Is there anything I can do? No, no. I asked her first. I just asked her. Okay. No, I, asked I just. First. I think I sprained my ankle walking up the hill. I told you not to go that way. Okay, listen. Now we could have gone another trail. All right, all right. You know what? No worries. No worries. I, I, I know how to solve this. I'm gonna carry you. Ah! No! I mean, I mean, Put it down. No, no it's it's down. Put it down. Put it down. Down. Okay, I got okay. this under control. Right. Be, careful. Right. Be careful. I'm gonna carry her, and I don't want to hear another word about it. No, 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 no. Did you hear myself. the lady? She said she can walk. Okay, you know, okay. I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I, I know how to how to fix this. How? What you got? I, I'm gonna race you for the lady's honor. What? Sir, are you prepared to lose with honor? Count of three. Your count of mine. Yours, dear sir. What's that supposed to mean right no, now? No, no, that's a straighter line. That ain't no straight line. That line is straight much straighter. Yours is off. Isn't this line straighter? Oh, mine right. is straighter. This is off. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. One. I'll be right back for you, baby. Hey, 
two, three. Oh, there you go, Dick. Ain't been cheating forever. Come on now. Hi, Miss Gayhart. Hi. I'm glad to get you alone. I need to apologize. Apologize for what? About last night, that little scene with David. I'm sorry you had to see that. David? Miss Gayhart, I thought you were married. Oh, I am married, but apparently doesn't mean anything to David. Are you saying that David has a thing for you? If by thing, you talking about that little thing that he has to keep in his pants? Yes. But if you think he has feelings for me, hardly not. He just wants something he hasn't had. What? I wouldn't be surprised if he hasn't made his way through the whole human resource department. See you later. I hope you guys are having a good time. Well, I have to tell you, Mr. Boston, this weekend is great. I can't stress that enough. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah, Thank whatever. You. So tell me, sweetheart. Yes. Where's your friend in London? Oh, Mr. Bossett. You got a thing for my girl? <laughs> you have to excuse my father. He's uh, quite the flirt. I'm sure he's just having a little bit of fun. No, son, I'm not having fun. I um, actually want to hit that. Pops, don't you think that's a little bit inappropriate? Do you think you should tone it down? No, I'm not going to tone it down, okay? I want to hit it. I want what I want. Mm. Pops, I just really don't think that... Wait a minute, wait a minute. David, come on over here. Do you like her, too? Boy, we got Black Shakespeare going on this weekend on the ranch. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. Son, is this true? You, you have feelings for this young lady? Honestly, I don't know. But... I mean, if I can, I would like the chance to find out. Wow. Okay. Wow, I just, damn. I just wish I knew how you felt, you know, but I would have done things a little differently. Really, Paul? Yeah, absolutely. I would have banged her yesterday. No, really, I, I would have just told her. Bam, just like that, you know, that's how I do things. Okay, hold, listen, son, if you, um, if you're looking for a little, you know, honest competition, and you're on. See, competition is how I became so successful. Is that how you became successful? Excuse me, Jimmy. David, Pop. It's David. Excuse me, Junior. I don't want to compete with you. I, I honestly have to tell you, sometimes I, I really think his mom had an affair with the, you guys going to join me up here? Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. I think his mom had a, an affair with the interior decorator. He's so sensitive. <laughs> David, huh? Come on, David. King David, that's my boy. <laughs> Get out! Oh my god. I'm 
sorry, baby girl. Just leave, Harvey, please. I don't know when you act this way. I just thought that... I know what you thought, I... Harvey, and that's why you have to leave. I'm sorry, baby girl. I didn't mean to disrespect you. I just thought, well, maybe you like me. It's been a long time since a pretty girl like yourself. Like so and like me. Harvey, I do like you. You do? I mean, of course I do. Everyone loves you. You're Harvey Blanks. You're the fitness guru. Mm. But for me, just not in that way. But you do like me. I adore right. you. Mm. I think you're strong mm. and you're smart. Mm -hmm. I think you're a really nice guy. Handsome? Definitely handsome. <laughs> and I think that if you just toned it down a little bit, I think that other women would like you. I need to, like... Tone it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't and I promise you that I think that will work. I mean, it's just that you have like, you have this game show host infomercial Vietnam veteran mm -hmm. thing going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that if you tone it down maybe a lot, I think women will fall at your feet. And they bring it down a lot. I'll work on that, baby girl. <laughs> One more thing. What's that? The whole waiting in someone's room, mm -hmm. baby oil. Mm -hmm. All bad. Mm. It's kind of creepy. That's not good either. All bad. Okay, well, I'm sorry, baby girl. MSNBC bad. Mm. Mm. Something creepy. Oh, you're not creepy, just waiting in my bedroom is kind of creepy. Okay, tone it down a little bit. A lot of bit. I'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. Can you put your shirt back on? Oh, when I get out. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, what's wrong with your friend, baby girl? She's been having a bad time. Mm -hmm. First she ate something bad, then she got stung by a bee, so. Mm -hmm. But she'll be fine. Well, I owe you one. No, it's okay. You know, I have something in my room that can fix it right on up. And I won't charge you a dime, baby girl. I usually charge $69.99, oh. but for you, free. Absolutely free. I am a health guru, you know? <laughs> yes, you are. And I'm sure that she would love that. All right. No problem, baby girl. Anything for you. Let me go on, get there, and I'll be right back with you. You do that. All right. Thank I'll you, Harvey. Right back. You know, like, oh. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Harvey. Yeah, who is this? Let's just say I'm a concerned friend. Harvey! Hey! What are you doing on this side of the house? Well, I just came from seeing a friend. From that room? From that room. Hmm. Was it Alondra? Is that baby girl? Yes. Then yeah, baby girl. She sure know how to make a man feel good inside. Well, I'm kind of busy. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. And your back, son, is not torn. I got just a workout for you. Just sixty-nine ninety-nine. Right. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, you feeling better? A lot better. What's wrong? Everything. It just seems like everything's wrong. It's like I got every guy in here to like me, except for the one that I want to like me. Like, he thinks that some... I don't know. I'm just so confused. I think he's upset with me. Why is he upset? I have no idea. I mean, it could be that his dad hit on me last night. It could be that. It could be the fact that Harvey just walked out of our room and he saw him walking out of our room. I mean, Har wait, Harvey Blanks was in our room, the fitness okay. guru? Long story, you don't even <laughs> want to know what I came out and... And then every time that we're together and we're like sharing a moment, my phone goes off. It's always Mark calling and I don't answer, so I think that it kind of throws him off. So it could be any of those things. It's Man, which one of y'all have us got my earring? Uh-uh. 
The boss song broke our heart. Broken hearts? Girl, we was just supposed to be having fun this weekend. Not getting attached. You went and fell in love. Why can't I just like someone? Wait, China, you fell in love? <laughs> Girl, yes. I'm gonna need you to keep up and lay off them prescription <laughs> beds, you hear me? Oh, Lindsay Lohan in training. Okay, I'm lost. Lonnie, you love the boss's son, and China, you love... Dan. Dan? Yes. Okay? Oh, I wow. love Dan. He popped, lock, and dropped it, flipped it up, rub it down. Oh, no, rock him, sock him, roll out of me, girl. Yes. <laughs> Side note. He told me about your allegations, about him looking at your little booty, and he said he wasn't, and I believe him. So stop lying on my man. Yes, I believe him. Okay, this is crazy. Okay. What should I do? Because I don't want him to think that I'm like that. So then tell him. I try, but he won't listen to me. Lonnie, you are a woman. You used what you had to go have fun. Now use it to get what you want. She's right. Go get your man, Lonnie. Go get your man, Blue. Hey, Jenny, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm gonna have the usual. Hey, son, what are you doing? I'm drowning in my sorrows, Pops. Oh. You need something? Thank you, sweetheart. Actually, yes, I do. Um, I'm going to need the checkbooks. I need to pay Harvey. I told you I've already taken care of that, Pops. We need an invoice. Once he submits an invoice, he'll get paid. Mm -hmm. My manager, his no, manager, no. we've already talked hey, about that's Junior, of. I told you, no, I don't like to do my business like that, son. I like to be more personal. Personal? Okay? Yes, then... I'm going to get a boy a check. Personal? When have you ever been personal, Pop? What the hell does that mean? You know... I just been thinking, and I'm I'm wondering, like, when have you ever just told me, "Good job, son. Thank you for not taking that job as a teacher and coming and working for me. Thank you for saving my business." Huh? Are you serious? No, really, really. Are, are you are you serious, yeah. son? Yeah. I can hire anybody to do what you do, man. You know why I hired you? Because you are my son. That's why. No, look, if you, if you quit today, my business will keep on going, baby. That's the business, man. You know what I'm saying? When you look at all them zeros on your check, that's me saying thank you. Thank Cheers. You. you know, I didn't expect you to understand. You don't know half of what's going on in the office anyway. Mm. So you just go ahead and keep cheating on women, golfing, and being arrogant, and I'll take care of it. Didn't take care of it, OK? Take care of it, son. Take care of it without bitching. I'm not bitching. You bitching. Okay, if you if you're not bitching, what, what do you what do you call it? Hmm? What do you call it? Hey Junior. Anytime you want to have a come to Jesus talk with me, put it on my next week's agenda. Okay? Because you are not talking to a deadbeat dad. I've always kept it real with you. Yeah, that you have. All right. You always kept it real. Then I tell you what, stop feeling sorry for yourself, son. And get your stuff together. You know, I got a question, Bob. Hmm? What is it? Why her? By who? Alondra. Who? Who? Alondra. Oh. I really liked her. <laughs> so you always do this. Listen, baby, you can't do She is an employee, man. You can't get too attached, man. Women are a dime a dozen. You know, that's cold. What? And it's not, and it's not even like I'm talking about marrying her. I just want to get to know her. What's there to know, son? The girl's a floozy. You got to be careful with girls like that. Girls like what? Look. I'm walking with the girl last night on the lake, right? It wasn't five minutes in our conversation she tried to get a promotion. Really? Really? Let me tell you something, son. Despite what you think, I love you. Look at me. I love you, son. I do. I love you. But you are a boss, Link. And damn it, I need you to act like one. Of course. I love you too, Pops. Hey, we done? Just 
you one more thing. Set. I quit. Good. Take care of Harvey. Not later, take care of him today, okay? Hey, my son's gonna take care of you. All right, Jenny, love you, baby. I don't know about this, guys. You'll be fine, trust me. You look so... Girl, you're doing it, okay? Yeah? Yes. Hooked up. Who do you think that is? Oh. I mean, you don't think that it's... Who is it? Can I come in? You might as well come in. You're already halfway in anyway. I just want Lonnie to know that Mark is here and he's pulling up in the driveway as we speak. Booyah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If he's still in his car coming up the drive, then how do you know his name? And how do you know that he's here for me? Well, I... Uh-uh. Oh, hell no. She's up to something. I can feel it in my stop, spirit. Stop, stop, stop. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of told him to come by and talk to you. I was just trying to be a friend. <laughs> Lonnie, do you want me to get up and kick her ass? Hell yeah, whip her ass. That's, you know what? We've been tired of you all week. No, wait, 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 wait. No, because I'm a Tybo professional. Kick, kick, punch, and speed Stop, please. Just say hi back. You know what? Let's just get this over with. I don't, I don't want you to do anything. You've done enough. You have definitely done enough. Everyone has just done enough. This is, this is my mess. And I'll fix it. All right, here you go. I appreciate everything you do, Mr. Blanks. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, young man. For the record, nothing happened. Excuse me? I seen the way you looked at me when I walked out baby girl's room. Nothing happened. Well, look, it's none of my business what happened, all right? I overheard you and your father talking. And I've known your father for a long time. Besides him being a good guy, he can at times be full of crap. Young man, he can't run this company without you. And if you like baby girl, go for it. I think she's special. There's something about her that I, I just like inside. Thanks, Harvey. All right? Don't let fuel excuse me. I gotta go. Wait, 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 before you go, this little check ain't gonna bounce, is it? Just wait till Wednesday to cash it. You'll be all right. Yeah, you go okay? again. Listen, See, you I'm, and your daddy. I'm for be real. Hey, man. You, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> all right, you, you good. good young man. All right? All right. God bless, man. Be Thank good. you very much. Gotta get another water. Goodness, money, my God, you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look good. Thank you, baby. Mark, what are you doing here? I came to see you. But you said you didn't want to see me anymore. Look, I really realized how special you are to me, and I, I really couldn't take it no more, baby. I had to come see you. Mark, it's over. David, I can explain. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Is he the reason why you don't answer your phone? Hold on, hold on, Lonnie, I was gonna ask the same thing. Is he the reason why you ain't picking up your phone? Man, David, forget all that punch in my head. No, get him and send me a girl. Look like a grown nation. I hate this. Let's get With all due respect, I just met her. And I'm not trying to come between what you guys have. Well, you know what? With all due respect, we in the middle of something right here, no. all right? So deuces, partner. No, wait a minute, Mark, look. I'm flattered that you came all the way out here to see me. And I'm flattered that you want to get back together, but how do I know that this is real? Baby, look me in my eyes. You know me. That's the problem, Mark. I just looked you in your eyes, and I don't feel anything. Wow. Maybe a few days ago, I would have let you back into my life, but Baby. things are different now. So that's what it is now? That's how it's going to be? It's kind of been like that, remember? <laughs> so you heard her, man. It's over. So if you don't mind, uh, we in the middle of something. 
So, uh, deuces, bro. You know what, Lonnie, when you come to your senses, you know where I'm gonna be at, all right? Deuces, partner. Watch yourself, though, all right? Bye. Try See you later. <laughs> Lonnie, look. Look, David, I know that there are a lot of things to say, but I just don't want to say the wrong things because I feel like it's gonna make things worse. Don't say anything, then. Just listen to me. Walk with me. David, I'm pretty sure that you're a great guy. But right now in my life, I'm just not trying to find out. I just, I'm not in the mood to explain myself to you, to Mark, to your father, to anybody. I just, I think I need to be by myself for a while. I hope you understand. Can we leave? Yeah, come on, baby, let's go. Don't it feel good? Feel all that cardio working? Look at all this side. Working at the abdominal area and everything. Ooh, what, what number we on? Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 54, 55, 50. See one, see two, see three, see four, see five. Ooh, that feels good. Uh, ooh. All right, ooh, uh, yeah. ooh, we gonna go ahead and go to the cat. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Mommy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how? Oh. Increase my fitness. <laughs> I have no idea. Don't ask me. All I know is that I did not pay $69.99 for it. That is it. <laughs> You've been crying. No, I haven't. I don't cry anymore. Yes, you do. But you, you don't cry on the outside. You cry on the inside where nobody can see it or feel it but you. Sit down here. We need to talk. Come on. Hey, hey. Uh, don't bother. Not there. Hey, Pop. Hello, David. How are you? Be very honest with you, I'm not very good, son. That whole thing about me needing you, you were right. I, of course, I knew that you were right then, but I guess I was just... Damn arrogant to admit it. Tell you what. If you ever want to come back, don't even have to ask. You know what? Hearing that from you, Pop, means a lot. Thank you. So where is she? Did she quit, too? Quit? Oh, no, hell no. She didn't quit. I offered her your job. So you still got your sights on her? Oh, absolutely, son. Absolutely. Can I tell you something? I would not have built all this great business without being an excellent judge of character. And that girl there, Lord have mercy, that girl there is going to make a fine, fine wife. Wife? Mm -hmm. And she's going to make me a fine, fine daughter-in-law. Wait, are you, are you saying me? Duh, of course you. Like, I got another son out there I don't know nothing about. Come on. You know, I probably do have another son out there. I, shit, I probably got hundreds of them out there I don't know about. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, I don't know. Perhaps we can bribe someone and human resources to get her home address for this. You think? Thanks, Pop. Yep, sir. Love you, man. Love you, Pop. Oh, David! Hit that for Pop, son. <laughs> Bam! But she, you know, she kind of ages her sideways. Bam! Like that. Look, slanted. Guys, back to work. Yes, sir. You heard him. Back to work. David, what are you doing here? Look, I'm here because for the first time in my life, I met a woman that I instantly connected with. But you barely even know me. Look, 
Tell me you haven't been thinking about me. And I'll leave and never bother you again. David, I've thought about you. But I've thought about a lot of things. And I'm just tired. I am so tired of being hurt. I just can't do it anymore. Look, then just come with me. I won't hurt you. Listen, all I want to do is watch a movie and eat some cheesecake with you. Baby steps. Baby steps. Yes. <laughs> really, a bootleg weird science? David, these are $5. You can get these anywhere. I couldn't find it nowhere else. You can get this for $5 anywhere. eBay, Amazon.com. Wait, you have way too much money to be buying a bootleg. I checked. Nowhere else I could find it or I would have been here a week ago. All right, you got me. You got me. <laughs> now, can you please come watch a movie with me? Yeah.